We need to be honest with ourselves. And I find that that's also another issue because people don't really, you have one partner that really expresses themselves and tells the, the per, you know, tell the person how they feel. And then you have the other spouse that don't say much of anything. And so between my husband and I, guess which one is which? <laughs> It's your girl, Tess. Hey, your boy, Tone. What's up? So, we wanted to respond to a... A comment. Um, so, the last video that we did, we um, talked about what do you do when your spouse doesn't listen. And so, we have one really good comment that we want to address in this video. So, um, I'm going to have my husband go ahead and read that comment to everyone. And then we're going to, you know, just kind of share our thoughts behind it, okay? So you want to read the question? All right. So the question is, once the communicating spouse has explained the need or issue and the listening spouse has indeed expressed they understood the communication, is the communicating spouse then also responsible to lay out a plan for the change or needs they want to see? seems communicating alone oftentimes doesn't always yield effective and long-term results we first want to thank you for your comment absolutely it's a really good question one thing that we all want is a understanding i recommend before you walk away and assume they understood even though they said they understood ask your spouse ask them did you or do you understand what I said? Mm -hmm. And if they say yes, then ask them to explain to you what or you repeat back what you said so mm -hmm. you guys can really um, be sure that you both have an understanding. It's effective communication, but behind effective communication, it does require action. So once we get an understanding, now it's time for you to act, right? And so um, what I want to point out, too, is that sometimes um, with communication and communicating with our spouses, you know, we have to, you know, talk, but also listen, right? So we can't just talk, 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 and not listen. And oftentimes, you know, when, we, we, when that happens, there is a breakdown. Now, we definitely need to be honest with each other. Talking about how my husband and I communicate, um, one thing that we realized is how we approach one another. Um, I know that I can be um, a little snippy. Um, I don't know, you think I can be snippy? I don't think so. Really? Yeah. I don't... Huh. Well, I think that sometimes, I think Tony's really used to, because the way he grew up um, and the, the, uh, the discipline that uh, he you can't, you can't be soft. Yeah, that's so, that's the whole thing. Like, so I guess for me, I'm feeling like I'm being a little snippy, and he like I ain't nothing. <laughs> because it's like you know, if you have something to say, I would rather you say it. Mm -hmm. You know, I get mad when you don't say it. Like, mm -hmm. and, and the way I was brought up, I was always the type that I felt like I never had a voice. And so, you know, a lot of people, you know, took my kindness for weakness or, you know, a lot of people tried to walk over me because I didn't speak up for myself, you know, because I felt like, you know, as when I was younger, not much of a voice and I was super shy. So, you know, a lot of things that I've dealt with in our marriage, definitely, you know, I had to deal with in my childhood um, and growing up. It's crazy that you don't know how to deal with that stuff. So you come into the marriage, you don't really know how to express yourself. You don't really know how to explain yourself. And then your spouse is like, I don't, why are you not talking? Why are you not communicating? And, and sometimes you got to have vulnerable moments with your spouse. Y'all got to sit at the table, mm -hmm. communicate, and have those intimate moments where you can kind of get to understand each other and know how to talk to each other, right? So I think that really helps. And, and, and the communicating spouse... And the one that said they they heard it, you know, they said they heard what you said. But so I would like to um, add a few more things before we wrap this up. Um, <laughs> I just want to know, like, you know, when people have problems in communicating, what is our approach in communicating? 
So I got three things, right? So one thing is, um, are we communicating um, in a childlike, childlike manner? How do you communicate with your spouse? Is it like, you know, like you're my child type thing? Okay. And um, another one is, are you communicating um, or really not communicating? It can be nonverbal. Like I know, for instance, Tony will ask me what's wrong and I'll probably do the nothing. But my body language says the, the complete opposite. Right. So that's like nonverbal communicating like, you know, something's wrong, but I'm saying some it's not right. You know, nothing's wrong. Right. Um, and then the third point is, is it like a threat? Like if you don't do this, I'm, gonna, you know, I'm going to do this. It's one of those threatening things where you try to get someone to do something, um, you know, I don't want to say manipulatively, but you just trying to get so you're forcing someone to do something that you want them to do right and 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 with your spouse you want it to be genuine you don't want to force anyone to do anything because that's not a happy marriage making someone do something you really want them to do it because they love you and so those are the three things that i wanted to bring up you know how what is our approach in communicating with our spouses you know because there's a way to get your spouse to do something for you and vice versa but if we're not communicating effectively like you had used at the bottom of that comment um i think that you know it, it, in a sense boils down to one of the issues or some of the issues too um and then two with you know with communicating you want to make sure that we are you know goes back to us listening to one another um and not always trying to get our point of view cro across you know you want the other person to feel like their voice is being heard too so it could be a number of things you know, but sometimes, you know, you have mentioned about does the communicating spouse have to come up with a plan? And for me, the short answer is yes. You may have to come up with a plan right now until you can get your spouse to a certain area where he feels or she feels comfortable with um, expressing their feelings. And it's going to be a work. It's right. not going to be, you know, fun and games, but we all know that marriage is a work. Make sure that you make your spouse feel valued. So when it comes to, to decision making or whatever the case may be, make sure that you make your spouse feel valued in the whole equation so that they don't yeah. feel left out. Yeah, include them. You know, include them in, in everything, you know, and because you're a team. Mm -hmm. yeah. So work as a unit. So he helped me in that area with adjusting to communicating better with with him and then you know him with me as well because there are certain things that i like and you know want to enjoy and all this other stuff but i had to tell him you know some of the things that i liked as opposed to trying to you know by osmosis you should know what i like you should know what i like and you know that's not fair either we got to tell folks we got to tell our spouse what we want we got to tell our spouse what we like and then when we do when we tell our spouse what we like, do it. What's wrong with you? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Why are you not listening? Okay? Well, you know what? It boils down to maturity. You know? We have so... a failure to communicate. <laughs> 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 no, your love for your spouse has to you know trump everything else you know like i want to make this work let's get in let's get in the thick of it let's figure this out i know that we said a lot and it definitely doesn't diminish you know what you said it doesn't diminish how you feel about the communicating and the one that listened um but i hope that this helps um, you understand that there are certain ways and certain things that we can do. And um, even though you are not experiencing long-term effects, we really believe that, you know, with working at it, not giving up, it is definitely possible to experience long-term effects in your marriage with communication. How much do you value your marriage? Yes. So we thank you for your comments. Make sure to leave a comment. Yes, we want to hear from you. Got to hear from you, you know, and we will answer back. We will respond to you. Yes.
You want to tell them? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually the one that really didn't express myself or express my feelings. I was the one that kept everything to myself or bottled everything up. Tony likes to communicate and express, and he wants to make sure that, you know, I understand and 